continuing coverage on the fentanyl crisis here in East Texas. A Van Zandt County teen is in the hospital after a fentanyl overdose, and now the county is forming a task force to prevent this from happening again. Fox 51's Ashlyn Anderson is here to tell us how they plan to do that. Ashlyn. Katie, the Van Zandt County District Attorney held a press conference to address the problem. She emphasized that selling drugs, especially fentanyl, will not be tolerated in her county. The drug overdose of a 13-year-old boy sparked the need for change in Van Zandt County. He's alive, he's struggling, but he's alive. In a press conference, the DA introduced a new task force created solely to tackle the ongoing fentanyl crisis steaming from our southern border. This is not a big city problem alone. In fact, this is a Van Zandt County problem. State and county law enforcement agencies will make up this task force. I'm here today to promise the people of this county that we will unite, we will be strong, we will give our best to protect the children of this county. Their first operation, the arrest of the person suspected of selling drugs to the 13-year-old victim. We recovered over 150 fentanyl pills from a residence right here in Van Zandt County. This wasn't the first incident involving fentanyl. To arrest and prosecute as strongly and aggressively as the law allows the people who come to this county and choose dollar signs over the lives of children. Wills Point ISD Chief of Police has officers on the new task force. That, that's the number one thing that we're looking to do is protect our children. But number two, we want people to understand that when they come to Van Zandt County, we take this stuff seriously. Reminding people that law enforcement can't do it without the community's help. It takes our schools, it takes our, it takes our parents, it takes our friends and family uh, to make sure that our kids go from Go from go from infants uh, to graduate and become and becoming you know uh, productive members of society. Taking action in hopes of preventing something like this from happening again. And the district attorney urges parents to educate their children on the dangers of drugs. In studio, Ashlyn Anderson, Fox 51 News.